hi it's Chris welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be I'm gonna go over some products that are new let you know that I have them and I'm gonna let you know uh, some of the ones that I've tested out and I'm done testing them out uh, before, before anyone says anything I'm living my glitter dream today yeah I'm sparkly like super sparkly and I know it but I love it and I hope there's someone out there that is also into the sparklies as much as I am and I will tell you where this came from so we'll get there okay first of all y'all know that i'm trying out the elf putty color correcting eye brightener which is uh it's pink i didn't destroy it like i i don't know if you can see the pink but today i put it underneath i put it on first before i put any other face product on um even the primer i put this on first just to try out what you know what would happen so i'm i'm still i, I don't have uh anything really that i can say right now uh, i'm not sure i'd have to look and see what do y'all think about my under eyes because you'd be the one that's going to see if i looked this is supposed to correct uh, discoloration, uh, dark circles, veins, that kind of thing. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the Victoria, excuse me, the Victoria Beckham. Uh, I, I am wearing this underneath and this is probably I don't know because I did set my face. I don't know if it's down here or not. I had put it underneath because, you know, I wanted to try it again. Beautiful packaging, but I, I, I hesitate to open it right now. Hard pan. I mean, I haven't used it, but a couple times. Why? I, I did not do anything that would cause it to have hard pan. I had to actually, excuse me, scrape it. I love Victoria Beckham's products. I think this is beautiful, but well, you don't pay the money you pay for these kind of things and have it have heart and pan. That's just, I don't understand it. Maybe I got a bad one, I don't know, but this was not cheap and it should not be that way already, even though it's a beautiful product dissatisfied with this one okay tom ford is not going to do well today i can tell you that right now and i you know if you know anything about tom ford you know he is expensive okay i have talked about this several times the um blush that i it's actually he calls it shade and illuminate blush um you know beautiful packaging i could you know, like I usually say, I could knock someone out with it. I'd like to today, but I'm I'm sick. I actually, I, I don't know. I had a sore throat. Um, had a fever last night. Why can't I get this open? Oh, because I'm, no, that's, I, oh, okay. Good Lord. Okay, this is it. I, when I saw it, I, you know, when I ordered this and I saw it, I was like very disappointed. Um, however, it's on my face today and I would say it doesn't look too bad, but it's on top of something else. And there is a shiny quality that comes out. Uh, but I have uh, some other stuff that I was trying uh, on top of it. So, on this one, it, uh, my initial, I think I'm going to have to probably use it on its own without anything in order to give a final, but like a midway perception of this is it's too much money for what, what you're getting. It, it just is okay 
Next is the She Glam. This is the one I just started. I've used it on every, since I started, what, it's just a couple of days ago, maybe two or three, something like that. But since I started, I've used this every day. You guys, it makes your face feel so hydrated. And I'm sorry, this is, you know, what happens when I'm on my treatments. And it started happening today, but it could be because I'm not feeling well. I don't know. Anywho, this makes you feel so hydrated and smooth and i just love this um i <laughs> i kind of uh, it looks like it's been attacked by oops there went the spoon i always forget the spoon is in there and I, I don't use it anyway but um i it looks a lot better i don't know if you remember it the other day but <laughs> <laughs> it looks a lot better than what it did. I stuck my finger in there and just absolutely hacked it. Okay, oops, but it's not going to close right now. All right. This is a new product from M Cosmetics. I've heard so much about this powder. Uh, they're saying that it's even better than the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Flawless Filter. Um, so I had to order, I had to see, and the packaging is, I have, I haven't used it, it just came in. The packaging is gorgeous. Um, the, this is the, um, the nice, gives you the, and this is the powder, it's still got the thing on it. But, um, I'll let you know when I start using it, I have, have not yet, I just think this is gorgeous. Um, it's, uh, it's cheaper than the Charlotte Tilbury, so if it is actually better, it's an alternative. I mean, if you like, it's, it, it is, uh, considered luxury, though. All right. I look crooked. I look crooked. Oh, you guys are probably getting seasick. I don't have any drama mean. I'm sorry. Okay. Then we have, I'm trying to go fast because I don't want this to be long. Um, this is from NYX. Looks like honey to me. It is called Honey Do Me Up. It's a primer base. Apparently you use this as a primer on your face and it looks like it might be really sticky. It's got a... Ulta really went to town when they put this uh, security tab on there and I just haven't been able to get it off. Let me get my my knife out again. Everybody runs in the house and goes to the room when I do that. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. It, I, it doesn't even... It, wow. You know, these have those metal stuff. I almost said a bad word. I can't get it open right now. But this will be something that's upcoming for me to try as well. Then we have, oh Lord have mercy, then we have the Makeup Forever Concealer that is HD Skin Anti, I don't know what that is, CERN, wait, 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 that's not in English, Smooth and Blur Undetectable Concealer. It's on my face today. What do you think, guys? Yeah, you're going you're gonna to have to tell me. It is, um... My impression of it is not great. Um, this is it, and uh, let me do a little swatch for you. It's um, not runny, or but it's not the thickest concealer in the world. It's, uh, but it does sheer out really well, which is why it's so confusing that when it goes on your under eye, it's like, wait. Uh, you know what what's going on I don't know I don't know if it looks okay unfortunately without my glasses I can't even see the monitor where you guys are I have no idea I'm just talking to something that's moving but <laughs> I can't see anyway this is up in the air because it just doesn't I don't know um, I would appreciate input like on what you think it looks like as far as being on camera and then moving along okay this is the final on tower 28 
I do not understand. I don't get it that why this is one of the top mascaras everywhere. I personally, this is going in the trash. Um, I, I just don't get it. I'm probably the only person on YouTube or, you know, in the makeup community that doesn't like this. I tried it, uh, I wore it yesterday, as a matter of fact, on yesterday's video. Yeah, I just did not, you know. So this is a big no for me, and I can't explain it. I know everybody else loves it. I don't know. It, maybe it's just me. Okay, another new one that came in I can't wait to try is the Cali Ray. This is Hideaway Brightening Under Eye Color Corrector. I did not know that. Uh, clean and Hydrating Serum Concealer. And that's what it is. Let's. Oh, it's also in Dawn. I did not know that there... Maybe I did and I just didn't think about it or I thought it was a good idea I don't know you never know with me but it is kind of pink um, let's see um yeah oh I already have well I'll have to go over here uh, it's it's not a thick formula uh, by any means this is it right here and uh, let's see I guess the pink is supposed to be a, the color corrector that you would I have not used this so I have no idea but it shears out well uh, we'll see I don't know I'm excited to try it um, I've heard really good things about it so this is another new product I will be trying we also have, I've been using this Gimme Brow from Benefit. I don't like it. I keep, what happens is, you're supposed to, you know, take it out and do it through after you've done your brows. And um, in, I always, it either gets on my nose or it goes above. This is probably just me. But, I mean, I'm giving you my honest opinions on all this. And, uh, yeah. Here it is. And here's the, here's the one. It, it, it is little. I just, um, I'll keep trying it. Because, you know, I did buy it. But, initial impression, I, I... If I were to reach for, well, I like I have been reaching for something else, I would. I would not reach for this. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about this one. Here's the build a brow that everybody loves. Guys, I'm struggling. Does anybody else, it's not that I don't like it, because if you do it right, it looks so good. But this is killing me. Uh, let's see if I can... I don't even know if I'm supposed to do this. I, I guess I'm not, but um, I am. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Oh, I didn't shake it. Well, um, if you can see right there is, is you know, some of the strokes. You, you put the strokes in um, instead of like a pencil like I would use. So this one is scary to me. Um, if anybody has any suggestions on ways that I could do it that's not, <laughs> not so scary, I'm going to continue to use it because I do think it's a really good product. I just think that I am not, I don't know, skilled <laughs> enough maybe. I, I don't use the uh, liquid liners at all. So this is kind of, yeah spooky to me anyway that that's that and okay here we have this is Tom Tom Ford <sighs> okay this one I don't even know if this one's available anymore however this is the color but hold, let me see if I can uh, 
get this off my hand so I can show you. Wow, some of it doesn't want to come off. Okay, okay, now I have to. This is my. I don't know. Okay, this one. It looks like and it feels like a cream and it and the color, but okay, there it is. Let me. It shears out as a powder. Can you see the the way that it it shears out? I have it on my eyes, on in the corners of my eyes. Um, I'm not saying this is not, I mean, it does have a nice sheen, if I can, it, it does have a nice sheen to it, but you definitely have to build this up, and build this up, and build this up to get it to a color that you want. However, if, if you don't mind doing this, this is a nice product. Kathy bought it for me, and I have, this is like... This is the first time I've used it, so with this, the jury's still out. I have to play with it some more. Yeah, okay. Then I have one palette that I want to, I have two more things. So I have one palette that I want to talk about, and it's the Morphe with Meredith Duxbury. Now, let me take it out. Um... I think my initial impression of this was good. Um, okay, this was, I believe, on yesterday's video. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> uh, let me take the... I think the initial impression that I had, let's see, was good. Um, yesterday, I pulled this out to use for the video. I believe it was yesterday. It was either yesterday or the day before. Um, my opinion has changed. I don't know what, what the initial, what, what I did or what I didn't do, but I used a lot of these colors, uh, the mattes on top, and they kept fading. I put them on and then it was fading. And I had a good primer on. I had Mac, Mac Painterly pot on it um and it was like wait i put the color there wait i put the color there it was i was so frustrated by the end and um now i will say that the shimmers if that's what these are <laughs> i always get it confused but they're not bad i mean they're not bad but these i wanted to take them out and throw them somewhere so Initially, I think I said I would recommend this palette. I, I'm guessing, but unless you don't mind sitting there and building up forever, you know, I would not, my final is I would not recommend this palette. I'm sorry, whoever, I don't know who Meredith Duxbury is. I know she has to be a YouTuber because it's Morphe. But, I, I mean, like I said, I have to be honest. The last thing is, this is J-Cat. Now, you guys, you guys know I love sparkly things. This that I can't get open, I don't know why. Oh. Uh, Scissors. Okay. Uh, this always happens when I'm on camera. I get them out just fine when I'm putting them on. Okay, this one is when in doubt. When in doubt. Okay. This is the one. And I have like five of these this is the only glitter type 
that I have found that I can put on my eyes and it does not go in your eyes and like make a mess and hurt. It just it goes on and for me, I think it's absolutely stunning. This is a little bit closer so you can see. I, I just love it. Um, I believe these are $5.99 and I don't understand this and I don't know why but I do have a code for JCAT and it works so I'll put it in the description box if you decide you want to buy anything from JCAT uh, but these I highly recommend because you just do and it goes over that's if you're a glitter type person like me so that is it guys oh no it isn't Tom Ford is the last one okay and now I have to check because I don't know oh my gosh you guys I can't believe I've been looking like this the whole time see this is the problem I okay this is what I thought I was buying lipstick let me reapply it real quick. I thought I thought I was getting lipstick from him, but that is not what turned up. Let me. This is horrendous. I apologize right now. Because not only do I have a lip liner on to keep it from doing this, it does it anyway. Oops. Okay. All right. This is, let me show you. This is it right here. Expensive. You guys know Tom Ford never does anything cheap. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I thought it was, I thought it was lipstick that was coming. Uh, let me put it right here. Now, you can look at it and see. Let me see if you can get a, like a glimpse of what it is. This is something like a... Let me see if it says... Oops. It's magnetic and it's cranky. Okay. No, there we go. Okay. It says lip color. Rouge, you know, whatever. And it's from... I, ha I can't even say the word. How about effing, can I say that? Fabulous line. He has a whole line that's called that. Um, anyway, I this to me is another one that I would throw in the trash. However, I paid so much money for this, I'm, I can't do that. Not I just can't. But I would not recommend this to anybody. It slides all over your face. I mean, literally all over. I did not even know that I was talking to you with it outside the lines. That's terrible, and I apologize. But this is a horrible, uh, it's, it's a horrible, to me, this is to me, I should, I should say that this is my opinion and probably nobody else's opinion, but this slides all over your face, and even with lip liner which I I do have on can't tell but I do this uh, does not stay where it's supposed to and it fades it fa I have literally I put this on last because I I just knew what was going to happen so within the the period of me putting this on last and turning the camera on it was already fading Maybe because it's going all over my face. Anyway, that is the last thing. Stay away from it, guys. Don't. If yeah, if you want a luxury lipstick, go to Gucci or somewhere else. Anywhere else other than that. And I'm sure his other lipsticks are not like that. Because, I mean, how could they be? They'd have to be normal. That's not normal. Anyway, sorry about the rant. <clears throat> anyway guys please uh, if you can leave comments about what you think about the under eye first of all the under eye because we have 
two things going on and um, I don't know if I've got the right blend you know I've got the elf and uh, the um, makeup forever and uh, I used what did I use for powder I used the Givenchy I have to apologize every time I say that but that's what powder I used on the under eye um, so again Thank you guys. I love you guys. To the new subscribers, I am so sorry if this is your first video. It'll be better. This is, um, yeah, this was kind of bad. <laughs> I still do not have um, my Sephora stuff. I, they sent one yesterday. It was this Cali Ray in a I you've probably had it t done to you in a big box this was the only thing that's a, such a waste I mean we didn't have to pay for shipping but somebody does and that you know he's probably putting the price of the product who knows all right guys wherever you are I hope you are well take care have some fun but stay safe Watch your surroundings, you guys know. And I will see you on the next video. Bye, guys.